Hi, welcome to Primetime Pickleball. My name is Nicole Havlicek. In today's video, we're going to cover one of the most frequently asked questions of many students, which is, why do I pop up the ball? Here's Jordan to show us two of the most common reasons why that might be happening. Now we get this question a lot. Sometimes people are, are at the non-volley zone and they either make an error to the net or even worse, they pop up balls so that their opponent could hit a slam or a hard shot down at their feet. So I'm gonna go over today two key reasons that that can be happening and how to fix them, how to make their dinks more consistent at the non-volley zone so that they're not popping up balls, okay? So the very first thing, so I have Nicole with me, we're gonna dink a little bit. Um, the very first thing that people will do is that they have a lot of wrist action when they're dinking okay so so when when they're dinking you, when, as they contact that ball they're actually flicking their wrists to to the right or to the left okay depending on what kind of shot they're hitting they're flicking their wrists and something like this can cause a lot of inconsistencies so when we're dinking here at the net whether it's the forehand or the backhand it's really important to keep your wrist laid back here um, as a forehand or a backhand and as I hit the ball, we don't want to change this um, paddle angle here. We want to keep it really stable. So let's take a few more dinks here. Nicole, okay. So my wrist is not moving, okay. It's in this laid back position and it's stable because if I, if I flick my wrist or like that, it's really hard to stay consistent with those balls, okay. So the second thing why people pop up balls is they hit it they hit these dinks or either they're taking out of the air or they're letting the ball bounce. They're taking the dinks way too close to their body or, or they're reaching and taking it way too far. So when we're, every time we're dinking, we want to make sure our contact point for our dinks are in a, in a consistent place. So it's really important, as you can see Nicole's moving me around, we want to move our feet to where we're contacting the ball out in front of us and it's not too far or too close to my body, okay? So she's moving me around. I'm gonna show you a little bit more, but we, we don't wanna contact it too close to here because we have no room. If this ball is bouncing near my feet, we, we, gotta, we gotta move so that we can contact it right here. If the ball's landing short into the kitchen, we wanna make sure we take that step and we're not reaching too much, okay? So we really wanna contact it right here, right in front of us in the same spot and the only way to do that is if we move our feet and get there. So let's take a few more dinks here. Okay. Take a step in. Okay. So I'm doing everything I can to make sure I'm contacting the ball out in front of me. And I'm also making sure I'm getting right back up to the non-volley zone to get ready for the next ball. Okay. So those are the two key things that you need to do to cut down on those errors that go to the net and that possibly pop up a ball and give your opponent uh, a clean winner, okay? So thanks for joining us in this video. Um, we hope you liked it and share it with a friend and we'll see you in the next video. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Thanks for watching. For more pro player pickleball secrets to help you play your best game, please visit primetimepickleball.com. You'll find a clickable direct link in the video description below. But before you head on over there, please be sure to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss out on any of our future videos.